August 17th in Iowa, the fight series. Our guest at this time, Brenda Gonzalez Means, taking on Jocelyn Edwards. 135 women's title on the line. How you doing? Doing good. Ready to get the show on the road. <laughs> the show on the road. It, it's been a while. As far as cage fighting, I think we're talking something like 19 months. 21. Like 21? 21 months, yes. So how excited are you? I'm excited. You know, it's been a long year layoff, so... Um, I've been in the gym, you know, pretty consistent, so I'm ready to get back in the cage and go have some fun. That 21 months, but I think it's a little shorter because you did have a boxing match in that time, right? Yeah, um, I did a uh, box back in April, so um, it's still been over a year, but uh, I'm ready to get back in there and put all the hard work to, to the test. I know you've had injuries in the past, so you've had layoffs. Do you have any thoughts when it comes to that dreaded ring rust theory? Um, I don't. You know, we've I've been training hard, um, strength and conditioning. I've been in here working on, you know, everything. You know, so I feel I feel pretty confident, and I know uh, my coaches have taken the time to get prepare and get me ready, and my teammates also. So um, I don't think ring rust is going to be a factor. Let's talk improvement. What do we expect out of a new Brenda? Um, I'm going to bring the old boom boom back, you know. I'm just going to go and have some fun in there. Um, try not to think too much, you know. And just let everything go and see how, the, see how it falls. I know that uh, in between these two fights, these last 21 months in the cage, there were a couple that fell out. Still some about frustration trying to get a fight. Um, it's... You know, it is frustrating whenever your opponents pull out or this and that, but, you know, it's the fight game. It happens. You just got to keep preparing and get ready for the next call. You know, I've gotten probably four or five other calls for fights, you know, now, all now in August and stuff. So I think um, when I'm re once I'm ready and, you know, I'm putting in the work, you know, the calls come through whenever. How do you get used to that kind of feast or famine deal? Um, well, you know, I have my uh, my coaches and stuff that make, you know, the calls on which fights to take and stuff. So um, they tell me I'm fighting this date on this weight, you know, I'll be there and ready to make weight and fight. So um, I've had people hit me up, you know, trying to asked me if I want to fight so-and-so on this date and I just, you know, forward them to my coach and, you know, let them, that's, that's their part of the business. So I just show up and hopefully perform to my best. Has this been part of your uh, athletic plan and the MMA journey to uh, be a belt collector, the King of the Cage title, there's that Sugar Creek Showdown title. Now this is another one that you're trying to go out there and grab. Um, it's, it's pretty cool to get, you know, title offers, so, um, if I can go get another belt, you know, I'm gonna go for it, so it'll be, it'll be cool, you know, to bring home another belt, so, um, I've done what I needed to do to get prepared, so, we'll see how it goes down Friday. How's the camp been for this one? It's been good, um, I feel good, I... You know, I've been putting in a lot of road work, so my cardio is feeling good. Um, you know, taking the right supplements, eating the right foods, um, and camp has been it's been good. Looking at a video of Jocelyn, she has a big right hand, likes to strike. What are you expecting? Um, you know, I, I see that she has a lot of boxing experience, and I believe she's a purple belt, if, uh, if I'm correct. But um, I'm just expecting a well-rounded fighter, you know. Um, she's going to bring her best, and I'm going to bring my best, so it should be fun. Without divulging too much of the game plan, can you give us some keys for success? Um, just, you know, what we've been working on. Um, you know, we've been working, mixing it up a lot, hands to feet to takedowns, so, um, you know, it's going to be a fun MMA fight. How do you bring back that old boom boom that you mentioned earlier? Uh, just walk in there with confidence, you know, know that I have put in the work. I put in, you know, the road, road work and, 
like I say, it's been 21 months. I'm hangry, so um, I'm just gonna go let it, let it all, let it all go, and leave it all in the cage. For all the followers, how can I keep up with you on social media? Um, I'm on Instagram, uh, Begons20. I, I don't know if that's right. Actually, that's Twitter. Um, boom Boom 20 on Instagram, uh, Twitter, like I said, uh, Facebook at my fan page. Um, you guys can follow me there. Anybody you need to thank or shout out to? Uh, thank all my sponsors. Um, you have helped me tremendously, you know, get through this camp. Um, I want to thank Tillery's, Chevrolet, um, my spine team chiropractic, um, Lujan, um, Damage Control Mouth Guards, Nikanin Ranch. Um, I know I'm gonna forget somebody. <laughs> uh, Duggar's Towing, um, uh, Taverner's Towing. So I appreciate all you guys, all my supporters. Um, I appreciate you guys for, you know, supporting me. I'm going on nine years of doing this fun stuff. So uh, I appreciate it tremendously. And of course my family.